An investigation has been launched into the death of a nine-year-old Palm Island boy from pneumonia after he was sent home three times from his local medical centre. He was given painkillers for the flu. His devastated family wants answers. Melissa van der Haak has the story. The grandmother of nine-year-old William Bly says this much-loved little boy should still be alive. They're just absolutely shocked. Not in this day and age, not in the 21st century. Just three and a half weeks ago, William was diagnosed with the flu. His condition deteriorated, so his mum took him to the Palm Island Health Clinic three times. Twice, he was sent home with painkillers. The third time, William was given a chest X-ray and antibiotics. He got worse and on Saturday was airlifted to the Townsville Hospital, where he died on Sunday. Townsville Hospital staff declined an interview, instead releasing a statement vowing to review in detail the care of this patient and to share those findings with their family. The Premier visited Palm Island yesterday and says he'll be involved, as will the Health Minister. I can guarantee you that if there has been a failure, that will not only be identified and it will be exposed. Williams' aunt says it's not the first time something like this has happened on Palm Island. She describes the hospital as being a panadol hospital staffed by intern doctors who often prescribe painkillers when stronger medication is needed. Aboriginal activist Gracelyn Smallwood says that has to stop. There's been far too many cases that have been misdiagnosed and even if they're interns they've got to have a registrar on tap. William's distraught parents have released a statement describing their son as an angel. He was a special little boy who will be remembered by everyone. In Townsville, Melissa Vanderhaak, 10 News.